Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Premiere Quick Tip scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can create slash import adjustment layers into your project with the script. If you weren't aware already, there's no way to create an adjustment layer from scratch with a script. You can create bars and tones, bins, black videos, captions, color mats, sequences, smart bins, transparent videos, universal counting leaders, but no adjustment layers. So the solution behind this is fairly clever and simple and uh, we're going to be showing you that today. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the simple two lines of code for this, as well as this uh, Premiere Script Editor extension, which you can try out for yourself. Link in the description in the GitHub link. Also down there, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And shout out to some of our new members. We have Nightwolf, who's been participating a lot, Basic P, Poco, and a few others. So thanks a lot for you guys. And if you want to join them in being a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, you can do so, link in the description, and this will help us out financially, and you'll get cool perks alongside it. So what's the secret? How do we create an adjustment layer if there's no ability inside of Premiere? Well, the answer is to use a function that lets us import a sequence from another project. So I've created uh, an adjustment layer project. And if I open it up here, you can see it just has a sequence with an adjustment layer in it. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And all we have to do is know the path to this file. In my case, mine is located in my videos folder and adjustment layer dot premiere project. So I have my path here uh, in my videos folder adjustment layer dot PR project. And we're going to use the function or method called app.project.import sequences and we need to provide a path to the project file and then an array of all of the sequence IDs. Now, if you want to get a sequence ID, all you have to do is load up a sequence. In this case, I have a sequence here. I'll say alert app.project.activesequence.sequence ID. And because we're going to be alerting this, I'm going to go ahead and say dot two string. So it's a string format. I'll save this and run it. And as you can see, we get this uh, value, which is encoded in some way. This is the value we can provide and tell it to import this particular sequence. If I wanted to add another, I could just uh, add a comma to the array and import this one twice if I wanted to. So that's how we do it. We simply call the path of where our project is located. In my case, I have it in a variable here, referencing my videos folder with my Premiere project, and then an array of the sequence IDs that you want to import. And this will basically allow you to simply import these into your current project. And then you can go in and say, here's my adjustment layer. I can bring it into here and do adjustment layer things as you normally would. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week in the channel. And again, down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link, as well as the code for this Premiere Script Editor extension. And of course, in the description, follow us on Instagram too for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you want to become a YouTube channel member, help us out financially and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.